Hey guys, Lana Christelle here and today I will be doing a haul video. This is more like a, um, a collective haul because I didn't get this all at once. So this is like in a span of a month. Yeah, a span of a month. <laughs> and the things I got or I bought from our hot look. So I got a lip palette from 3 Custom Color Specialists and some crown brushes for like super cheap. And blush again. Blush again. My favorite. So I just picked these up today actually. Um, so let's get started with the haul. I know you're excited. I haven't done haul videos in a while. Um, maybe because I just haven't been buying a lot of things. So from what I got from Hot Look, this is 3 Custom Color Specialist Lip Color Palette. And I think these were like 44% off regular retail price. So definitely such a good deal. Also, they have a website. And if you are a pro makeup artist looking for industry discounts, definitely check out their site. I think they give like 30% off makeup artists. But um, yeah, and it's super easy to get and it's free, so why not? Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this company, um, especially from Kevin James Benet, Bennett <laughs> from InMyKit.com. He has a few of their items on his website as, um, as a kit must have. So for lips, um, I got the the Favorites Lip Gloss, and it's actually a mix of lipstick and lip gloss. And this is the size. I thought it would be bigger. The picture made it look a lot bigger than it actually is, but that's okay. So it says a collection of 10 unique and beautiful shades created by 10 women who know what they want and how to get it. So it's ready to wear. It says lip gloss, but on the back it says lipstick, so I don't know. I haven't swatched it yet, so I'm going to swatch it for the very first time. And there's a mirror. There's a mirror, and here are the lip glosses. comes with a lip brush. So let's swatch some of these babies, shall we? I'll take, I took the brush off, so there's the nice mix of colors. So I'm going to take this red looking color with a Q-tip and that more looks like more of a lipstick. Yeah, definitely a gloss. <laughs> these are really sheer, but that's okay. These are more like, yeah, these are definitely glosses. You can't even see that. Uh, swatch this pink one right here. That one's really opaque or more opaque than that red one. Oh my gosh, I can't use this camera. There it is, that pink one. And let's swatch this brown color. The plummy color, yeah, definitely. That. So next, what I've been waiting for in the mail, and I totally forgot I ordered it when it came, it are my crown brushes. So crown brushes was on sale on Hot Look, um, and they were on sale. The brushes were on sale. Sometimes Hot Look just sells them for whatever price they're selling on the website. So I got some brushes. I got two of the C405 contour brushes. Two of those, and I'll take one out. This one's kind of wonky. It's already out of the package. I still have to wash these before I use them. It looks kind of weird right now. But um, this is super soft. Like, really, really soft. So before you use these brushes, I definitely recommend washing them because they do tend to shed. But not so much. Not as much as Sigma. That's, <laughs> that's my experience with Sigma. They The brushes did tend to shed a lot and they still do after washing and usage so that's that that's that is really soft this was like $6.99 or something on hot look when I got it and I got two of the C412 deluxe pointed crease brush brush which is just um, similar to the Mac 224s 
But again, these are just as soft as the MAC 224 brushes. So, <laughs> these are just as soft as the 224 brushes. Always a must have in any makeup artist kit. And I also got two of the, um, this doesn't say what they are, but they're the, it says 800 SS or SS0008. They're just the pointed um, eyeliner brushes. I got two of the C433 blending, uh, Pro Blending Fluff brushes, which are comparable to the MAC 217 brushes. And as you know, 217 and 224s are my favorite brushes from MAC. So this one, um, you can see this. It's not as like fluffy, I don't think. It's more, it's a lot more dense than the 217. The top part is fluffy, but it's really, it's a lot more dense. Or maybe just because I use my 217 a lot and it's like super fluffy, but. And I got some singles of these, so I got the C415 Deluxe Sable Shader. And this, I guess, is comparable to the MAC 252. But I think it's, um, the shape of it, the dome is a lot smaller than the 252. The 252 is kind of bigger. Um, but this would be great to pack on eyeshadow like all over or as a highlight color for the under brow bone. And it's nice and dense. Um, I've talked about this before, the C425 Tapered Concealer. I picked one up at iMats last year in LA. And I had to get another one because I really, really like using this to apply any concealer, whether it be liquid concealer or cream. Um, this is a great brush to have because it pats it down and then it and it's soft enough on the tips to kind of just blend it out. So really, really nice to have. And I got the C431 Precision Detail, which is similar to Max Pencil Brush. I forgot the number of it, 219, I think. Um, yeah, it's a lot, I think it's kind of bigger, the dome of it. But the dense, how dense it is, is, um, no, it's actually fluffier than the two, the MAC one. The MAC one is like super pointed and a lot more dense. And then the last brush I got was the C408 Chisel Shader Brush, which looks like, I don't know the MAC number, I don't, because I don't have it. But it's like, I think it's a 214, I don't know. <laughs> but it's like that, it's, it's, um like a dense brush right here. And this is good, again, for applying shadow underneath your uh, lash line, kind of shading it out. Um, or you can use this to smudge your eyeliner again. Or if you really want to um, get some deep, like a detail crease, this would be really great to use also. So that's my haul for Hot Look. Next, I'm pretty sure you guys are excited about this one because I am so, excited um, just because I got something that you can't really buy from Lush um, so let me talk about this so my local Lush um, in Westlake Center I have two here in Washington but this one is in the Westlake Center one and today was their anniversary party so um, yeah they <laughs> they're selling a very limited edition item that you pretty much can not get anywhere else. I think it was available in the UK for a little bit. I don't know if it still is, um, but I think this is like their anniversary anniversary one day only item for sale. And so I got two of them and uh, I'm excited. It's the comforter body lotion. Oh my God, it smells delicious. And it's pink, just like the little bar. Oh. Let's, let's put some on my hands, shall we? You can get a nice um, tub. It's a 7.9 ounce tub of this. Oh. Oh, and it smells just delightful. So um, today was the only day they were selling it. I think 
Um, I first saw this on H Town Pinai's Twitter. She tweeted. She tweeted. She tweeted <laughs> that she got a couple jars from the New York one, and I was like, "What? How come they had it and my store doesn't have it? And it's not even online? Well, it's a one day only limited thing. Oh, it smells gorgeous. It just pretty much smells like the Comforter Bubble Bar in lotion form. So. Let me tell you people, you guys need to sign up for their newsletter because that's how I found out that my local Lush was selling these on their anniversary. So I got two of those, of course. Two Dos Comfortos. <laughs> and um, I also got Herbalism a cleanser because I heard a lot of good things about this. It's a facial cleanser for oily and problem skin and pretty much that's me that's so that is so me um i am currently using dark angels at night which i love by the way it smells delicious i like the smell of licorice but i don't like the taste of licorice so it's all good um dark angels at night and then in the morning in the shower i use aquamarina cleanser so herbalism is good for oily skin that is acne prone and then Dark Angels is really good for oily skin, but blackhead prone. So I'm kind of both. <laughs> so depending on what my skin is feeling or what it's doing, I'll switch between those two, Dark Angels and Herbalism. So I had to pick this up. And because it's their anniversary again, they were giving away free item. And it's their Brimstone Mask, body mask. Kind of stinks, but <laughs> it's like this. And I guess you wet it. I don't know how to use it, but I got two of these just because I I bought these separately. Um, I I went in intentionally just to buy one, but then when I actually smelt it and felt it, I had to go back and buy another one. So I got another. I got two of these brimstone masks. I'll have to look on the website how to use it. But if you guys want to tell me how to use these brimstone masks, please leave a comment below and I got some samples sample samples I got um, dream cream which I really like to put on super super dry spots like my elbows my knees and then um, I get really dry above my lip when the seasons change so I use this every now and then I still have a sample oh, see they give you so much of this one which I love. I never have to buy this. <laughs> Shh, don't tell. Don't tell. Um, but um, Dream Cream, I, I still have a sample that I got from my other Lush store. And I'm still use, going through that one. Again, those are the only places I use it. Elbows, knees, and my upper lip if it's super dry and flaky. And then I had, I was so intrigued about this item. It's the Gorgeous Facial Moisturizer. This item, this moisturizer is like freaking 90 bucks a tub, <laughs> first of all. And I was like, um, I don't think I'm ever gonna buy that, but you know what? I'm gonna go give it a shot. And this is how much she gave me. I don't know if you can see that. But you know, she was generous about it. She was just squirting it in tin. It smells kind of lavender-y. I am currently using Vanishing Cream um, at night. During the day, I use my Cetaphil facial moisturizer um, so I'll definitely check try this out during the day and um, because I came back and got that comforter cream I got another one you know just because it's a free sample why not you know <laughs> so yeah definitely gonna try these out so who doesn't love samples right okay um <laughs> I think that's it for my haul I haven't really been buying any makeup lately um, I already know what I'm buying from the Matt Quite Cute collection and I'm only buying two things which is the Candy Yum Yum Lipstick and the Giggly Blush. That's it. That's all I'm buying from that collection. And uh, yeah. So I hope you guys like this short, not short, but small haul. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. So you guys take care and um, stay beautiful.